What's the max GLO? It was 3.8. Uh, maybe 3.95. We copy, 3.95. This is Mission Control Houston, and there it is, Soyuz MS-17 under its main parachute. And as we described before, the white smoke is the nominal venting of hydrogen peroxide and oxygen into the atmosphere right on time, right on schedule, with landing planned about 10 minutes and 50 seconds from now. Touchdown. Touchdown confirmed at 11.55 p.m. Central Time, 12.55 a.m. Eastern Time, 10.55 a.m. in Kazakhstan on a Saturday morning. After 185 days in space and a mission spanning 2,960 orbits of the Earth and 78.4 million miles, Kate Rubens, Sergei Rizhikov, and Sergei Kudsvertskov are back on terra firma. And we now have video uh, from the landing site. We just uh, caught a glimpse of Sergei Rizhikov, and we're looking at uh, the uh, crew members uh, being extracted uh, and other uh, technical personnel clamoring uh, at the very top hatch. And here's our second crew member. Okay. Cool. Rob, Kate Rubens is outside of the capsule right now, giving high fives and all smiles. And saying at Kate. Here, right here. Welcome home. And here she comes. And even 300 days in space on her two missions, Kate Rubens is home. A lot of laughs and smiles right now as Kate is coming down. Let's slide down. Okay, here. Hold her and let's go. And she's being brought over to her chair right now. Okay. Okay, Rob. Brent Kate Harvey Rubin has there, been seated in her chair. Sit down. Again, okay. all smiles. Great. From both Rubens and our NASA personnel. <laughs> and Kate Rubin's now receiving flowers. A beautiful bouquet. Yuri, thank you. Thank you. Yuri Malenchenko handing uh, Rubens that bouquet of flowers uh, on the left of your screen is uh, Rubens' flight surgeon, Dr. Natasha Cho. 
On the right is uh, a Russian nurse, Roxana Batsmanova, who uh, operates every uh, landing operation as one of the complement of NASA nurses. Okay, you ready? And Kuspirskov is now being carried over to his chair. So all three crew members now extracted and seated.